Gregor, welcome to Glasgow Warriors. You've just started your new role as head coach. What's your overriding emotion and, the, and sense of anticipation on taking on this challenge? Well, probably excitement. Um, can't wait to get started uh, working with the players. I've been here a couple of weeks now with the staff. and It's a fantastic facility in Scotland. And to know that we're going to be playing there as well as training there is, is great. I'm hugely honoured and, and privileged to be Glasgow Warriors head coach and to carry on the good work that was done last year. I believe that we can become one of the leading teams you're arriving at a time when the team have uh, just qualified for the Rabbit Direct Pro 12 semi final for the second time in three years. There's been investment in the squad ahead of next season, and we've got this magnificent new home in Scotland Stadium. There's a lot of ingredients in there that make it an exciting time to be coming on board. Oh, it is, and, and the players I'll be working with uh, are excellent. They, they've stuck in all season, showed a great desire to play for each other, very tough to beat, but also play some great attacking rugby. And I'm looking to build on that. There's areas we can upgrade and improve in attack and defence and really challenge at the top, just like we did last year, but um, even better next season. You've just underlined the consistency of that group that, that achieved the two semi-finals in three years. What, what are the other main strengths of that core group as you see it? Well, I, I believe it's a team that really fights for um, for each other, for, for Glasgow. Um, a very passionate crowd that, that engage with the players and the players feed off that as well. Um, I think there's some really young, talented players there that are only going to get better. Once players get an opportunity to play for Glasgow, they show what they can do. And we've got real experience as well. The guys like Al Kalk and Chris Kasser have played at the highest level of the game. And they can get better, so there's, there's lots to be excited about. In addition to that group, there are five new signings coming on board very shortly. Angus McDonald, Billy Ami Matthew, Sean Lamont, Tim Swinson and Byron McGuigan. They all presumably have the right ability and attitude to, to complement what we already have and indeed take that group forward. Yeah, of, of all that group, only Byron McGuigan hasn't played at, um, at the highest level, pro level, and, and he's an exciting player out of South Africa, a lot of pace. We've seen him in the sevens with Scotland. And the rest, um, we've got guys that have played super rugby, played for the All Blacks, Tonga, um, guys that have played in the hardened areas of the, the English Premiership. So we're, I'm really excited by the squad. It adds to what we've got. They all come with real tough, toughness about them, character, and they will add to, to the leadership of the group as well. From a personal point of view, where and how can you, can you feel that you're going to bring your own influence to bear? Well, in all sorts of areas. Obviously, um, I want to keep uh, what's working well, the attitude, um, the work ethic, that ability to um, to be tough to beat, not give up easy points to, to the opposition. Um, the defensive attitude is great. I think we can still improve on the defensive side of that. And Matt Taylor coming in uh, from Queensland Reds uh, as defence coach is going to be great for us. And we can certainly do more to, to slow down the opposition ball. The game of rugby is a simple one. It's, it's about winning quick ball, winning the ball in the first place, winning quick ball and then making most of that ball, getting behind the opposition. And we can do a, a lot in attack that will put oppositions under pressure right throughout the season. What sort of Glasgow Warriors head coach do you envisage yourself being? Are you going to be doing a lot of hands-on coaching? Are you more of a strategist? How is it going to work? A bit of both. I love coaching. I believe that's a big strength um, of improving the players, but also um, analysing what the opposition are doing, what best suits our strengths and how we can improve. So the more time I can get out in the coaching field, um, also in the, in the room for the players, looking at their games, um, analysing the opposition, the better. And that's what I aim to do. You mentioned there the, that uh, Matt Taylor is going to be coming in as defence coach to just complement Shane Monroe, who will be working with the forwards. How do you see that working as a unit and what, what, what will each guy bring? Well, Shane's done a terrific job. You look at last season, the, the contact area, Glasgow Warriors got um, the Collision King Award for the, the best in, in that, that sector of the game. Uh, it's something that Shade uh, believes we can get much better at, and I agree. The forward pack worked really well, that's so what Shade works with them. Um, Matt is coming from the Super Rugby. Uh, Queensland Reds won their Super Rugby title last season based on their defence, which Matt led, so fantastic acquisition for us. Both Matt and Shade I know really well. Shade I played with uh, 20 years ago with Scotland, um, so we're good friends. Matt as well is a good friend, so we'll be pushing each other on it. I see that coaching group um, is equals. Um, they've, they're going to have a massive say in, uh, in how we play the game, and we'll be supporting and challenging each other all the way through. Just finalising plans for pre-season at the moment. Can you give the viewers an idea of the kind of blocks that's going to be broken into and the, the basic plan behind it? Yeah, well, the, the, the aim for us is to, to, to come out of these uh, pre-season blocks with a team that is very fit, able to play fast-paced rugby, but also will have improved their, their core skills and key skills that we're focusing on during these couple of months. 
we'll have uh, rugby balls in the players' hands from day one, but it will be tough. But I do, I do believe that the pre-season is, is a fantastic time for professional players. It's the biggest time of the year we get you work on your, your body shape, your fitness and your, your strength, but also your skills. You've got a lot of time to improve your, your own uh, skill area and it's done in the best weather. So it's a great time to be, to be coming in as a, as a pro rugby player. And we, with the way we'll work it, we've got three weeks with the players starting from uh, next Monday. Um, obviously the Scotland uh, players and really Ami Mafu and uh, DTH Van der Merwe won't be there They're with the uh, international sides. They'll come probably another six weeks after that. Three weeks intense uh, training, then they get a week's holiday and another block of uh, four weeks and then they were into the pre-season games in August. Looking around Dark Stadium here at Scotland, uh, the feedback from the supporters have come along to the Open Days has been fantastic. The season ticket membership sales are comfortably ahead of uh, last season's to the overall total. Again, we've got a great opportunity to create a real home of Glasgow Warriors here. Yeah, abs absolutely. And being, a, being a supporter um, and someone who's came into Glasgow the last couple of seasons through my role with, with the Scotland coaching team, I've always been uh, excited and uh, delighted by the support of the Glasgow supporters show. Um, they really get behind the team, sometimes against the referee, which is fantastic. And the engagement between the players and the coach and the, and the supporters in the end is great to see. To have it now in this wonderful stadium, um, in a great area of town where you've, you've got a sporting facility right next door, um, and the pitches at the back that the players have used the last season, it feels like we're a proper professional club. And this is going to be a great season for supporters and players. For those who are still thinking about renewing their season ticket membership, new supporters or people indeed who are just looking ahead to next season, what would your message be in terms of what they can expect to see when they come down to Scots and Forest Warriors? Well, first message is uh, get down early and get your, get your season ticket renewed because numbers are, are great. We've already overtaken last year almost in terms of the whole season ticket sold. Um, so there's lots of people interested in coming here. As I said, it's a great stadium. Um, I believe um, we'll be playing even better rugby than we did last year, exciting rugby. Uh, successful teams, whether it's Leinster, Harlequins who won the Viva Premiership, teams like the Chiefs, uh, who I spent a week with last month in Super Rugby. Exciting, fast-paced rugby. 